Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Wednesday's story is July's Patch Avalanche. Now, before I begin, I'm sorry I haven't been able to post a video on Monday or Tuesday. As I mentioned in my weekly video, I'm traveling in the UK this week at a partner conference, and between travel and events, I simply didn't have time for a video. But today's video is all about patching. As you probably know, Tuesday was Microsoft's monthly patch day, but on top of that, we also had Adobe Patch Day and Oracle's critical uh, quarterly patch day as well. So there's lots and lots of updates for administrators out there. First let's talk about Microsoft. Microsoft released updates fixing flaws in Windows, Office, Internet Explorer, and also Microsoft SQL Server. Lots of important updates out there. One of the Internet Explorer updates is actually a zero-day vulnerability that was disclosed in the hacking team breach we recently had. So if you're a Microsoft administrator you definitely want to get those updates. Oracle also has a critical patch update uh, every quarter. And this critical patch update fixes tons and tons of flaws. This quarter it fixed over 193 vulnerabilities in many, many products. Things like their Oracle database server, MySQL, their Simmons software, their Sun servers, Java, and many, many other Oracle products. So if you use Oracle software, be sure to check out their critical patch update. Finally, despite the fact that we just got an Adobe Flash update to fix one of the hacking team vulnerabilities last week, Adobe also released another Flash update and a Shockwave update as well. So I don't have time to go into all these vulnerabilities. Do know many of them are related to the hacking team leaks. But long story short, if you use Microsoft products, Adobe Flash or Shockwave, or any one of many Oracle products, you're going to want to go out and get these patches. One final tip, do know if you're a WatchGuard user with our IPS service, we do have uh, new signatures for many of the Microsoft and many of the Adobe vulnerabilities. Abilities. So they should keep you safe until you patch. Anyways, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching.